Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Napalm Kitty here. Today I'm going to be showing you another unboxing of these shoes that I absolutely have been trying to get for the longest time. And it's been a difficult journey because every time I order these shoes, Neiman Marcus, and I vow to almost never shop there again except something magic ha magical happened, was um, I finally got a sales associate. <laughs> I was trying to return these shoes because I was tired of them sending me multiple replacements of these shoes that either were missing dust bags, missing heel tips, sent me floor sample models where the right shoe was busting, the left shoe was fine. It was ridiculous. Or they would just send me a completely different shoe. Like I, the first time I ordered Luby Queens, they sent me a pair of Gucci flats, the Gucci flat slides, pool slides. And they were in a size 8, and I could not do anything with them because they were size 8. If they were a size 6 or 7, possibly 7, but if it was a 6, I could do something with them. I could have just taken the price difference and kept those, but oh well. With that in mind, um, that's basically my experience. I finally got a sales associate with Neiman Marcus, and I absolutely love the experience. It's It made me turn around from having no, no faith in Neiman Marcus whatsoever to believing them, you know. The customer service was just great with my sales associate. Um, I originally went in there because I was just trying to return the shoes. I was like, I'm done with this. And you know, it's missing stuff. I'm like, she, these shoes were fine. This pair was fine. It was just missing dust bags and everything. She made all of that right. She gave me several options and made that right. And then we ended up exchanging numbers and you know, she showed me a whole bunch of things. And she's very perceptive where she looked at me and she knew my style and I, I like the fact that I looked at her and I wanted her to so I, I really, um, I don't know, I, I was not envious or anything, but I just aspired to have her sense of style. Just, she just looks so, so free, casual, but put together, you know? So, you know, that that's what happened. And me and Marcus is having a crazy sale. So the, the truth was I was gonna return these, get the price, get my money back and go buy another pair or whatever it's in five and a half or six that they had in the store. But I ended up keeping them and I'm buying another pair of shoes. I forgot what these are called, but I shall make a video of them when they come in. And they are these really skinny, like skinny heel, like stiletto heel boots that look very much like the Socate. So it really definitely like hugs your foot and everything. So like it's so sexy because it hugs your ankle, everything's like, very, very form-fitting and you don't have to worry about stability issues because I feel like most of the time we don't walk in shoes because they're ill-fitting. When they're perfectly fit to your foot, you don't have any problems with them. But then again, I did read a video, not read a video, I did read an article about how some people are better, will walk in heels better because of their foot anatomy. Really interesting stuff. So I found the five and a half that they had there to be a little bit tight right here on this top portion of my foot and I had learned previously from the Duaglina that you should not have that happen because it will cause you to be in a lot of pain over time. So I was like okay let's get these in sixes. They didn't have them in the store so she was gonna order them into the, to have them shipped to like the, my local store and when they come in I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try the five and a half I'm gonna try the six and I'll see which one I like better and then I'll take whichever one I'll take home. And they're like these really beautiful 1920s art deco black with white um, stripe painted on these boots and they're just absolutely beautiful. And I was walking the, the hell out of them in Neiman Marcus and just, you know, usually I don't think I have a good walk, but apparently that day I did. So we'll see what happens. I've been walking heels for a very long time, but I do have very flexible ankles. They just go like that. And it might look like a bit of a wobble, but I'll be fine. These are the Arezas. And this is left and right, okay? Absolutely, absolutely beautiful soles here. No problem with them whatsoever. They're new, they're not busted and used. And usually what happens is, this is how I shop for shoes, okay? When you look at this little platform right here, so this is where the sole meets, is, is being covered by the leather out here. Usually I look for a huge line or demarcation. If I see, that there was like a straight up like line, like as if it was cut through. That means that she's been tried on by many people. Lots of pressure exerted. Now, but this, this is perfectly fine. And I usually look in the back here to see if there's any wear and tear. And I definitely look at the sole. And I also, because it's a pointed toe, I like to look at the toe itself. 
and see if there's anything missing. And what also you need to look for is you see how right here this heel just goes straight down? Sometimes this part, this leather part is not aligned. Like this heel tip will be crooked or this leather part here is this lacquered part is like popping out. So you want to make sure you're not looking, you're not buying shoes that look like that. These are 35 and a half and they are called the Arizas. They are the only ones that have, um, as far as the classic iconic shoes between the So Kates, the Kates, the Pigalle, the Pigalle Fully, all that stuff. This is the only one that has a half dorset. It's known for the half dorset right here. And that just, dorset just means that there's a cutout. It's not a full dorset. Why? Because it's only on one side. We need to cut out the other side if we want it to be a, a full dorset. And with that in mind, I absolutely love these shoes. They're very, very comfortable. I got them because of this wider toe box and because there's a half dorset here. It minimizes the pressure coming from both sides of the shoe. If you have like the Big L or the So Kate's, you know, they're closed, completely closed. So you have pressure coming in from here and from here, from both sides. That's how you get that squish toe effect. Because of this, you know, your foot has more room to spread out your, your toe box here. So you don't feel like they're squished in. I highly recommend these for people who have normal width, uh, even wider width. I don't know about extra wide. Um, I'm somewhere between a B to a C width. So, and, but I am a, I definitely fit when it comes to like something that's a four inch stiletto like here, like 100 millimeter, I have to go up a size, I have to go up to five and a half because I don't want my feet to fly out. So, okay, let's go ahead and try these on. Um, there's no turning back, no, not returning them. So, uh, and because they're patent leather heels, it's going to feel like, I know that this is a better fit on my left side and my right foot is slightly larger than my left foot, just in the toe box area. So we're going to wear them and you know, I'm on hard floors, no carpet here. So there's no going back.
feeling so good. I'm just wearing these erasers now. I can't see them, but of course. Hopefully my walk is not too atrocious. Thank you guys for watching this video with me. I just have to work on getting them shorter, but please comment, like, subscribe. Just please don't make fun of my feet. I know they look terrible, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.